Marion Desard, we've got her on the phone. Uh, she's, according to her phone, located right here in Tucson, Arizona. Marion, how are you doing? I'm still sporting 520, but I'm in the UK right now. <laughs> It's so good uh, to get to hear from you. Uh, we hope that you've been having a good year and, and keeping everything safe. It seems like you have been. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the best I can hope for is that I keep things stable. I'm not too sure about sane or safe, but just, you know, just keep going. Keep, keep going. Prevent it from going completely off of the rails. Uh, you were telling us off air. Uh, that you were in Tucson all the way up until October. Of- yeah, the day after I voted, you know, early voting started on October 7th. And on the 8th, I was on a flight to the UK. And the flight, was that originally uh, for touring purposes or were you going uh, simply to relax? What 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 prompted the, the flight? Well, I had... Um- a house in Tucson until just a couple of months ago. Um, and so I, I wanted to go back and spend a couple of months catching up with my friends in Tucson, making a little bit of music and uh, fixing up a few things in the house. But the idea was to go back to the UK, back to Europe and to tour for most of, of this or well, last year, actually, 2020. Um, but in March, I was still in Tucson. Everything had been snuffed. There wasn't any more shows to be done anywhere. Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh, unless you were planning on doing it from your house anyways. No, I never went for the streaming thing. I just can't. It's just, I, I don't have the courage for that. I know. I understand. We've talked to several artists and there's, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, approaches and theories on all of that. And, and I respect everybody's uh, viewpoint on it. And, and you're saying it's a courage deal. And that's, that's absolutely wonderful. I, I couldn't imagine myself either. Uh, you feel- I don't, yeah, I don't even do zoom with anybody. I've been so lucky last year. <laughs> I don't keep in touch with people by zoom. I can't stand you know, looking at the screen any more than I have to. Absolutely. Well, that's why we appreciate you taking this phone call here because we do know the phone calls are okay. All right. (laughs) Um, Now you in 2020 uh, were out in Tucson and you did record a series of, of cover tunes. Um, I wanted to talk to you uh, uh, about a couple different things in, in regards to that one. Uh, who all did you work with in terms of recording the music? And two, what was the inspiration behind the, the selection of artists and songs that, that you made for uh, those songs in 2021 or 2020? The, yeah, the selection of songs is a mix of intuition and good luck and just stumbling across something that sounds really cool. But all the covers are really mostly late 60s, early 70s music. And it's a project I'd started discussing with my producer, my English producer, um, over a year ago. And because I was in Tucson, um, briefly, we put it on hold. But then uh, when the pandemic hit, we figured uh, we'd still keep working remotely. So most of those songs, except Dirty Work. Dirty Work was actually recorded in Tucson and finished in England. Um, I worked with Matt Rendon at Midtown Island and also Trua Lund, the bass player, and Connor Gallagher. And there was Naima Moore also. Um, You know, people I've worked with in Tucson over the years, but all of it was finished and mixed um, mostly with my English producer here. Uh, that and, and that is somebody that you've been working with consistently over the years? Yeah, we met when I moved to England about four years ago now. And uh, we had a, a short-lived band we did in our small town here on the coast in Kent. Um, and we kept thinking of doing an album. And this covers album was the one we decided to focus on. So we're almost done, actually. I'm pretty excited about that. And it's going to be a full uh, uh, full length? Yes, yes. We've got too many songs, actually. <laughs> we're finishing. The, the one we're finishing right now is driving me crazy. It's a cover of War. It's a War song. It's not Lowrider. Yeah. 
It, it's uh, Slipping Into Darkness, which oh, okay. is really dark. I love that song. Um, yeah. Well, we've been absolutely loving the covers that you've been doing uh, here at our house. Hope and I listen to them and we always shoot each other a look like, wow, she's really bringing something of herself into this uh, on every uh, track. And so we absolutely appreciate it. Uh, let's look forward a little bit, Miss Marianne Desard. What's what's the optimistic outlook that you've got going on uh, looking forward? Yes, there's a pandemic going on. We understand that. And yes, it's going to put a lot of the stuff that you do on hold. But optimistically speaking, what do you have that you're looking forward to doing in this year and maybe the, the, the upcoming years? And it doesn't have to be about music. It could be about anything. Yeah, it's not music. Uh, when I got back to England four months ago, I started uh, doing a photo project. So I'm working on a photo book. Uh, every day I go out in the what, what we call the high street, which is the main street here in England, and I take photos of people. Um, it's it's a pretty dark project, but it's street photography. So I'm I'm working on that every day. I also um, keep working on a novel I started that's taking place here in England in my town, my harbor, my seaside town. Um, so that's that's it. Um, well, that sounds uh, like very exciting things to be working on, and and during these hard times, it's nice to have little things like that for us to look forward to doing. We've got yeah, I know. I don't. I move around so much. I don't even have a cat to take care of. So I better keep working on projects. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Marianne, for taking this call from us today. And we look forward to you returning stateside. And maybe when you're in Tucson, uh, we could look you up and and maybe go out have a drink with you. That'd be awesome. That would be wonderful. And tacos, please. I miss tacos so much. They have fish and chips here. It's great. But come on. Yeah, there's nothing quite like a sewn next taco. I'll tell you what. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marion Desard. Let's go ahead and close out this third set triple play with a cover of Richie Valens' classic Come On, Let's Go by Marion Desard right here on the Arizona 411 third set triple play feature. Thank you.